One of the best features that iOS 18 promises is that it repairs your phone so that you can use it to its maximum capacity. Until now, if you had the battery or the screen changed, you were left without true tone, the health of the battery was no longer displayed, and in the settings you had notifications that parts were not recognized. On iOS 17 and earlier, the only solution to regain maximum functionality was to remove the chip from the broken screen, reball it, remove the one from the new screen, and then solder it. The same thing had to be done with the battery. The BMS Flex had to be taken from the phone battery and installed on the new battery, with better capacity. These interventions were not for everyone, and many services did not offer them, so you were left with a partially functional phone. But, Apple claimed that if you have the original parts and they are not from phones declared stolen, they will be configured automatically on iOS 18 so I took this phone that needs a new screen and a battery to test if it is true. Stay with me to find out and see the process. Before installing the parts, I will check the battery to see what percentage of health it has, and if it will be recognized with the same health. This is not a new piece but it is original and from what you can see it is better than the one on the phone. I start by unscrewing the two bottom screws to be able to detach the screen and have access to the battery. Now I can mount the screen and the battery that I took from a phone with other problems. Their installation is as easy as dismantling the old ones. As you can see, since the iOS 17 version is installed on the device, the parts are not recognized by the phone. Also, the true tone function is not valid and the battery health is not displayed in the settings. So I'm going to upgrade to iOS 18 to see if the problem resolves itself. If the process turns out to be a success, this aspect is a very good one from many points of view because there is no need to change the chips anymore. After the new software version is downloaded, I install it and wait impatiently to find out what will happen next. Everything is ready. I configured the phone and from what you can see in the settings, the message, finish repair your phone, appears. In order to finish the repair, I have to reset the phone. Look carefully at the steps I take because they will be useful if you also have replaced parts. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe, this would help me to make content like this in the future. After I connect to the Wi-Fi network, I wait and the configuration shows me that the parts are genuine. Everything goes perfectly without any errors and I get the message that the configuration is done. I restart the phone again and wait to see if everything is fine, if the screen has the true tone function and shows me the health of the battery. The screen is paired with the phone and there are no errors. Good job Apple. It saved me from a time-consuming job and it seems that the battery was successfully taken over by the system and the health is exactly as shown by the programmer. Definitely this update solves the problem. If you can't find an original battery and want to put an aftermarket one, watch this video so you don't make any mistake.